Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 1207, unique number of occurrences in lead code. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. And let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, we are given an array of integers. And we have to return true if the number of occurrences of each value in the array is unique or we can return false otherwise. So for example, in this case, you can see that 2 is occurring 2 times, 1 is occurring 3 times and 3 is only occurring once. That's why the occurrences are 1, 2 and 3. That's why uh, we return true because all the occurrences are unique. Uh, in this case, you can see that 1 is also occurring once and 2 is also occurring once. So, both of them have same number of occurrences. That's why the output is false as it's not unique. Another example, guys, you can see the output here is true because all the occurrences for each value, each number is actually uh, unique. Constraints are pretty straightforward, guys. At the length of the array goes from 1 to 1000. Value of the array goes from minus 1000 to plus 1000. So let's get started with the solution part guys. So to solve this problem, we are going to actually use two methods. The first is going to be the hash map method. And in this method, we are basically going to use an extra data structure for storing the unique occurrences. So there, uh, there's going to be two hash maps there. One hash map is just going to uh, hold the number and the occurrences. And the second hash map is going to hold the unique occurrences, okay? So, uh, in this method, the space complexity could be a bit higher, but definitely it will save up on the time complexity. And uh, we'll see that in the coding part now, that how uh, the code actually works and how, it, how in complexity-wise it is arranged, okay? So let's get started with the code now. So the first thing is that we have to create a hash map for our number and holding the occurrences. So this hash map is basically going to have an integer key and integer value. So let's name it the num map equals to new hash map. Hash map. And now that we have created the map, let's go uh, and traverse the entire array. So integer i0 to i less than array dot length. I plus plus so simple thing if num map contains the element if num map already contains key array i then we increment the occurrence otherwise we simply put it one okay so num map dot put array i num map dot get array i plus one okay else simply put array i and one okay so now after this for loop this hash map num map is going to have a key which is a number and value as the occurrence okay so now we have got all the occurrences uh, as part of our map values so if i basically do num map dot get values uh, sorry, num map dot values. I will basically get a collection which is uh, having all the values, all the occurrences of our numbers. So what I will do here is I'm just gonna create a for loop integer uh, value or frequency. Let's say frequency. Uh, iterate over all the values in the num map. Uh, and for each and every frequency, we are going to find out if this is unique or not. Now to find out if this is unique or not, we are going to create our second hash map. So this second hash map is going to be a map of uh, the occurrences as keys. Okay. So in the previous hash map, the occurrences were the values and the number was the key. But in this hash map, the occurrences is going to be the key. And uh, basically, the value is just going to be uh, anything. Okay. So, let's say this is the frequency map equals to new hash map. 
why we are using hash map guys because in case of hash map every key has to be unique so in this case we will be able to find out if any of the value or any of the frequency of the number is unique or not okay so while we are iterating through all the uh, all the frequency values we are just going to check if frequency map contains key frequency if it contains the uh, key already then it means that this is not a unique number of occurrences so just return false if it doesn't return false from this for loop we are just going to return true and if it doesn't uh, contain that key then we are just going to add that key into this map so frequency dot map dot put add the frequency inside the map and for the value i'm just adding one okay because the value doesn't matter it's only the keys that are being checked okay so after the for loop is over if we don't return from this statement we are just going to return true from the for loop uh, sorry we are just going to return the true from uh, from outside the function okay let's run this code guys let's see if this works for our example cases so you can see guys that it uh, works for one example and hopefully it is going to work for other examples as well and there you go the code is accepted talking about the time complexity so the time complexity for this code is going to be order of n uh, the reason is because we are going through all the elements uh, twice only so it's only uh, 2n times we are going through all the elements and the space complexity is also going to be order of n because we are storing all the numbers in a hash map and we are using two hash maps so you can see the space complexity is kind of 2n uh, but in big o notation we are just going to say it as order of n okay so that was the hash map solution guys and now, uh, now let's go to the sorting solution which we can do okay so uh, basically guys you can see that the space complexity here is two uh, is actually two cross n or we can say uh, 2n but we can save our space we can we can save this uh, second hash map from being created by using a sorting approach okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to by default still return from this function true but i have just deleted the entire second map the uh, second hash map to actually find out the unique element to now find out the unique uh, frequency or if the frequencies are unique or not i'm going to use the sorting approach so let's see the sorting approach now so now we already have our hash map for all the frequencies what i will do is i'm just going to create the hash map values so values equals to num map dot values and just going to convert these values into an array once i have converted those values into an array i can easily use array dot sort to actually sort these values now all the values are sorted so it is pretty easy for me to actually find out if uh, one of the value matches the uh, next value or not so for integer i equals to 0 to i less than uh, values dot length i plus plus so actually it should be starting from i equals to 1 so if uh, the i minus 1th value is equal equals to the i ith value we simply return false and then otherwise we'll just go forward with our loop and once that our for loop is completed by default we are going to return true from here okay so let's run this code guys and let's see if this works and there is a problem okay yeah so it's not array it's array is sort sort let's run this code again and this time it's accepted guys and i'm just going to submit it just to be sure that all the other example cases have uh, also passed so you can see guys that uh, obviously the code works but uh, obviously the time complexity here is a bit higher uh, than the previous <coughs> previous uh, approach so if i talk about the time complexity guys uh, the time complexity becomes equals to order of log n because we are using a sorting approach 
so if we say we are using the best sorting algorithm still it would take order of n log n time that's why the time complexity becomes order of n log n if i talk about the space complexity guys then even the space complexity is still order of n but it is still lesser than the previous solution because we are not using two hash map we are using just one hash map so in this solution we do save up on our memory time uh, on our memory consumption but we kind of lose on our time consumption okay uh, so those were the two solutions guys i hope you guys enjoyed those solutions and you learned something from it if you have guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel guys please hit the bell icon for future notifications write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me any alternative solutions you want to suggest any feedback is welcome i make your videos every day from monday to friday guys so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching uh, until next time